How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today we're going to be looking at the Comica Professional uh, Microphone. This is a micro-directional shotgun microphone, or I believe it's a cartoid microphone, which uh, records in a single direction, kind of like a boom mic. This is the CVM VM10 II edition, and it comes with a hot shoe mount, which is a mount that goes onto the top of a camera, kind of where the flash goes, so that's pretty cool. Um, if we look at the bottom right here and zoom in a little bit, it says that it works with a smartphone or a camera, and this kind of gives you an idea of the range that it kind of picks up. So if the camera was like right here in the center, it gets a little bit from the back, but mostly everything's from the front. So like if you're interviewing somebody or something like that, it gets a little example of it on a camera too. And if we turn it to the side and focus in on this, it says that it's carteroid, for a smartphone slash camera. It's shock absorbing and it's super anti-interference and it is mini and full middle, which I like that. Here's an example again of what it looks like at the bottom. And if you wanna pause right here, you can get a good look at the specifications. But without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this and see what it's all about. So it has a little bit of tape right here. So this is what the inside packaging looks like. Go ahead and turn it this direction and it should slide out pretty easily. Let's go ahead and pop that to the side. There we go. So uh, as we see on the front, it already comes with a bunch of cool stuff in here. So let's slide this extra piece of plastic out of here so we can actually get a good look at that. Looks as though I just dropped the instruction manual. Move that out of the way. And if we tilt this down, you can see that it comes with a few different connectors. The first one, it looks like, is a standard uh, one that goes into uh, any kind of normal headphone jack. And then this one right here looks as though it has uh, three on here. One's for a microphone, and then I'm not sure what this one does. I think one goes into here, and then one goes into the smartphone. And then we have this really nice kind of uh, fuzzy muff right here. And this is used for when it's really windy outside. It also has a little plastic ring too. So it's not just the fabric, it'll slide inside of there. There's also foam in there as well. So if you're having like a really windy day or something and you wanna take this outside, you can actually do that with this. Little, uh, what my mom would call poison packages or silica. And then right here we have the microphone itself, which looks uh, really nice and uh, has a decent weight to it. It's not uh, really cheap feeling. This feels like it's made out of a uh, plastic, which is springy to uh, shock absorb, I believe. We can also take this off right here and take a little bit of a zoom in. And then this is what the microphone looks like has a little bit of a grill right there on this side and then the other side as well. It says right here, video microphone and gives the model number. And then it says Comica. Looks as though you can mount it via a standard tripod or you can also mount it um, using the hot shoe mount, which is really nice. Very versatile in that way because a lot of the stuff that I use requires that, so yeah. Let's go ahead and slide this little uh, foam protector on here, or the pa and z kind of blocker. And let's go ahead and attach it and see if we can get some good sounds out of it. All right, so I'm recording with the uh, Comica microphone. I'm about the same distance as I would normally record using my Blue Snowball. So this is about, uh, I'd say about mm, 10 inches from my mouth about 10 to 12 inches from my mouth. And I'm gonna lean back in my chair, talking at the same volume, leaning back in my chair. And now I'm gonna talk really close up to it as well. But this microphone is usually used to um, get a pretty farther distance away. So if you're like uh, sitting maybe a few feet away, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the wind muff now and see how it sounds. So this is the sound with the little uh, furry wind 
blocker on. Um, not a super fair test, given the fact that it is um, inside and it's not windy outside even. Um, but yeah, I think that uh, it looks pretty nice on there, looks pretty professional, and I'm excited to see how the audio turned out. Alright, so I'm back on my blue snowball. A little cool thing that I did is I had a mount, it's a tripod mount, and I actually put it on this uh, little clamp mount that is super strong, has a nice uh, spring in there, and you actually can clamp it pretty good against your desk or anything else. And it, uh, the ball and socket is pretty solid once you tighten it up. But yeah, the quality's not too bad. Getting up close, you do get some pops and stuff. I think that filter that I have on there kind of helped with that. But uh, all in all, I think it's a good quality microphone for uh, pretty much what it's going to be used for, which would be kind of like interviews or a little bit, you know, a few feet away kind of uh, situations. But for recording how close I do, I kind of need that extra bit of uh, flexibility. Very nice. I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll be putting this in the link in the description below so you guys can check it out as well. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.